Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zemco here, aka Scoot, back with the CPC D League season three, week three, I want to say. Excuse me, season two, week three. And we're taking on Phantom Base, who's taking over for North, North Vader, so it's interesting. North moved up to Majors to replace a coach, and uh, Phantom Base is filling in for. North's D League position, taking over his team. However, he did make three changes, as you can see on screen. He has Empoleon and Blaziken, which he swapped for Toxifex and Mian Chow. And he also dropped Aldino for a Selgor. That being said, his roster then becomes Landers Incarnate, Tapu Bulu, Empoleon, Blaziken, Bronzong, Espeon, Sneasel, Cafagoras, Golbat. Aselgor and Mega Ampharos. So basically, this team that I have on screen was built by Styx from the Token Minorities. He built this team. I'm guessing either before the league started or during week one. But yeah, he he done built this team. Um, he swapped Empoleon for Toxapex and Blaziken for Mian Chow and Selgor for Aldino, but not too much changes on the game plan. I actually don't even change any sets, although there's something I'll go over on Manaphy that I should have changed, but I didn't. Anyways, for the team, um, we have... Obviously, Manaphy, Zygarde, um, the Mega. What is my Mega? Diancie. Alola Muck, Cabalion, Crobat, Mesprite, Rotom, Pharaseed. Yeah, Pharaseed. And Incineroar. And uh, we bring the Mega Diancie, Zygarde, Manaphy, Alola Muck, Mesprite, and uh, Crobat. Team works out. We definitely have the matchup in our favor. Um, with Diancie, we have a uh, very, very nice two attacks, rock polish set, moon blast, and earth power. Basically, the only coverage we need. Rock polish is literally there only so that we can outspeed things like Sneasel, um, I guess to an extent, Scarf Blaziken, um, Scarf Bulu, Espeon, Scarf or not, um, and the Aselgor, obviously. And my last move is Protect. I have Protect so that I, high jump kick spam is not going to beat me and it prevents Bronzong from cheekily going for Stealth Rocks or Hypnosis predicting me to switch out or something like that. Moonblast and Earth Power is literally the only coverage I need. Um, Golbat, can't really hurt Golbat anyway. Um, however, if I chose to run maybe Power Gym or Diamond Storm, I could hit a little bit harder. However, I don't think that Golbat was going to be a problem for Mega Diancie. Um, because of the rest of my team just beats it down pretty pretty comfortably. Zagor 50% has an incredible matchup this match. Um, bar the Sneasel, like, it's not got really good revenge killers. Um, and would rely on something like Cafagoras to reliably check. And he doesn't even bring the Cafagoras, which is one of his uh, best mons that he's comfortable with using, so that's nice. We do have the Expert Belt, which provides like incredibly crucial damage rolls against Bronzong and Bulu, respectively. Um, and so we're packing Dragon Dance, Thousand Arrows, Extreme Speed, and Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave because it hits harder than Iron Tail on the Bulu and it accurately does the job. So no reason to run Iron Tail when you can do more damage and um, rely on it better. 
so that's why we have the sludge wave. Manaphy is up next and we have a bulky bulky breaker um, basically just to break it's not a sweeper or anything like that um, it's bulky enough to take a couple hits from everything um, notably a good switch in for Sneasel which um, if it's a choice band I could obviously give my trouble or give my team trouble give my trouble team <laughs> um, but man if he switches in pretty good can't knock off my item so I'm not taking that much from knockoff um, Oscar Crash isn't doing much either so I have the ICMZ so I can hit like tail glow into uh, Sub-Zero Slammer for the, like a bulky Mega Ampharos um, initially had Psychic on him and chose the ICMZ over the Psychenium Z because Toxapex lives, you know, plus three Psychic and potentially plus three um, Shattered Psyche. Either way, Manaphy, like I said, it could have 1v1 the Toxapex. Can't 1v1 the uh, Empoleon, though. Well, over time it could, I guess, if I was the right set. But uh, I did not change Psychic before this match, so my bad. But uh, not the worst thing in the world. Um, next up's an oil and muck with an assault vest, special defense, uh, special defensive set. Um, just because, you know, he's got things like Landers, um, Espeon, Cafagrus even, and it helps even against uh, Mega Ampharos and Tapu Bulu, which is uh, pretty nice. Can take uh, a choice specs. Dazzling Gleam from Espeon into a Landers and Carnage Sheer Force Earth Power. It's incredible. Knockoff spam puts uh, puts the rest of the team in a great position, particularly to hurt Bronzong and Espeon. Pursuit is also nice for things like Bronzong and Espeon, which is like um, outside of outside of Golbat and Empoleon, he can't really remove rocks, so he'd have to rely on bouncing them back and rocks are really the difference between good rolls and bad rolls on things like Bulu and Bronzong and uh, Empoleon even. Mesprite. Fifth but not least, <laughs> this is my rocker. Guaranteed rocks up no matter what. Um, it's an emergency lander, it's incarnate check, it's got ice beam, psychic stab, speed creeps Bulu and um, I think I have U-turn as my last move. Not 100% sure. Rocks, ice beam, psychic stab. I want to say U-turn. Not 100% sure. Um, last, and I don't know I said this on the fifth one, but not least, uh, Crobat here. I'm gonna say go bet. Got the uh, the utility Brave Bird here. Taunt, Roost, Brave Bird, and um, what was my last move? Hunt, Roost, Brave Bird, maybe the Fog. I'm not sure what my last move is. I think it's U turn actually. But uh, it just causes huge problems for my opponent. Can't really switch into it effectively besides uh, Empoleon, which I can U turn out and get momentum on. Eventually weaken it to a point where that things like Manaphy and Zygarde and even Mega Diancy can just whittle it down. Anyways. I guess I've talked quite long enough. We can start the battle now. I'm going to lead off here with my Lone Muck because I figured he would lead off with um, Empoleon and I thought 100% sure that it would be a Shookaberry variant and I wanted to go ahead and remove that as soon as possible. So I led with my Muck just so I could click Knock Off here. He doesn't really have anything that wants to switch into Knock Off per se. However, um, Bulu and even Blazik and Mega Ampharos and Sneasel don't mind a knockoff unless their items are essential, minus the Mega Ampharos. Anyways, yeah, I'm just going to click that knockoff as he does go out into Xerxes, the uh, Mega Ampharos there. He gets the static, unfortunate, but hey, that's why. That's why you run it. Um, he's going to go for the Thunderbolt here and does 22%, so he's going to know I'm Assault Vest. I'm going to go for the uh, Poison Jab and do 25%. So I'm just going to click Knock Off here, predicting him to switch out, I believe. 
where I get paralyzed. Um, but I get paralyzed, not where I get paralyzed. So I guess for another Thunderbolt, and uh, here I'm going to go for the Poison Jab again. Two knocks him out regardless of that crit, so crit didn't matter. Here I'm going to switch into my Mesprat, as he actually goes for another Thunderbolt and does 42%. It's kind of a misplay, but kind of not. Um, I sh maybe should have kept um, Mesprat's HP like more conservatively, because uh, Blaziken could be a problem, Landers could be a problem. Um, it could be the difference between surviving... Um, like Bandit Knockoff with my Cobra Berry or like a Wood Hammer from Bulu or something like that. Could be the difference. So maybe I shouldn't have switched in so recklessly. But uh, I'm going to get my rocks up here as he goes for the agility. So showing the tech here. I'm going to switch out predicting the Thunderbolt. And he goes right for the Thunderbolt. So whew, I made that play. I was really scared he would go for Dragon Pulse, but ultimately decided that if he did then then congratulations basically that's it um otherwise i could get the prediction right and i don't lose a mon yet so that's the position i'm in right now and i can just click extreme speed with my zygarde there and now he brings in the sneezel so i could could have stayed in there predicting a knockoff or a pursuit and uh, but it's too risky and he actually does go for the knockoff instead of the icicle crash interestingly enough so I'm just going to go into Manaphy here I'm going to click surf could have clicked tail glow the reason I didn't click tail glow there is because uh, if he clicked knockoff on my tail glow and then he clicked knockoff again potentially knock me out so no reason to lose Manaphy there a little too early to set up anyway um, however he's going to go out into his um, Bulu here on the knockoff he, he doesn't lose an item which is interesting and uh, it tells me he's a Z-move user obviously but um, I wasn't predicting him to go for it right away so he's going to catch me off guard there with the muck I was hoping he'd go for the sword stance as I switched but uh alas and uh, he's going to stay in here I predicted the Empoleon to come in didn't want him to get rocks up so I'm going to click the taunt here and he actually goes for the stone edge but Crobat being the bulky motherfucker that it is, not going to go down easily. Going to roost off the damage, take a significant amount less than he did last time. And I can just roost this damage off here. However, I'm at a point right now where I can just click Brave Bird and knock this thing out. Or I can just roost up and get my HP back. Um, I'm going to click that Brave Bird. Every little bit of damage on Empoleon helps. Things like Manaphy, Mega Diancy. Um, puts it in range of 1,000 arrows, no matter Sugar Berry or not. Um, you know, this little chip does. I'm not saying he is right now, obviously not. Goes for the ice beam as I'm gonna tail glow up here. And he actually goes for the roar, so nice play there. I'll let him know that I'm most likely just gonna click um, surf from now on instead of trying to tail glow up because he's just gonna roar me out. Unless I'm last mon, obviously. But at that point, I don't think I can win anyway because he has a Landers and a Sneasel and I would be at too low of HP. So just gonna click surf here, like I said. Um, I protected with Mega Diancy in case he went for rocks, but he didn't, so just getting that necessary chip damage as uh, he's slowly getting whittled down. I'm able to get my rocks back up here, which is really nice. He goes for a U-turn here and gets a crit, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's manageable still. Like, it's not going to determine the game or anything like that, but definitely um, changes how I'm going to use Mesh right here at this point. Uh, I'm still Copper Berry, though, so I can still... Well, I can't take a hit from uh, Sneasel anymore, but um, I can still use it as a sack and whatnot. So it chooses to defog, and I'm going to go for Surf here. And here's where I'm going to make a misplay, a small misplay, actually. My opponent brings in the uh, Bulu here, and I'm I'm just not thinking. I'm in autopilot mode at this point, and I just click Ice Beam. 100% um, not the play. I should have clicked my Z move here with the ice beam that would have been the play i'm gonna click ice beam here and it does 39 percent and my opponent also um in my opinion makes a misplay and goes for the lead seed but it, it didn't backfire on both of us or either of us i should say as he doesn't die and i doesn't i don't die either so that's nice here i'm crowbat versus the uh sneasel here we both switched out predicting something and I'm not willing to take a banded eye shard and I didn't want a U-turn out there 
just in case he went for the ice yard over the icicle crash. Most certainly thought mesh bright. Second mesh bright was my best play. And then I could go in the Manaphy and click surf and claim a kill. And that's that's what's happening here. So he's going to go out to the lander shoot, and he's actually going to U-turn out. So instead of trying to go for the knockout with the earth power potentially or something like that, he just goes for the uh, the safe U-turn into Empoleon, which is not bad at all. And he's going to roar us out, predicting another toe glow, or just preventing us from getting any kind of toe glow up. And uh, here I know he's going to go for the flash cannon, so I'm going to double out to Zygarde. Well, switch out to Zygarde after he roared me into um, Mega Diancy. And my su suspicions are confirmed here that he was Shukaberry as I knock him out with a thousand arrows. He brings in the Sneasel now. I know that uh, Saiken Manaphy is my play, and he misses the Icicle Crash. So let me talk you through my thought process here. He's going for Icicle Crash. So, and he's Choice Banded. So he can't knock out my, well, he can't knock out my Manaphy, but he could have too he KO'd it. So if I switch in, take the Icicle Crash, he clicks Icicle Crash again, both of them land, I'm two hit KO'd, he takes no damage. He has Landers, Blaze, and, and Sneasel at nearly full HP. And I have Crobat, Zygarde at around 80%, and a Mega Diancy at nearly full, or full, actually. I think it is full, 100% full. So, if he landed this Icicle Crash and the following Icicle Crash, I was going to go into my Mega Diancy and claim my kill. Um, I actually have two options. I can go into Mega Diancy and click, since I know he is Choice Banded and I know he can't knock me out, I can click um, Rock Polish and then proceed to knock him out with the Moon Blast. Or if he decided that Sneasel was necessary to keep around for the Zygarde, then on, my, on his Icicle Crash and my Rock Polish, I would be faster and he could decide to save Sneasel, go into Landers on my Moon Blast, and Landers would then drop to the following Moon Blast, or he could sack off the Blaziken, which would drop to maybe the first Moon Blast, or most certainly a second Moon Blast. However, then he could, uh, he could then bring in Sneasel back in and Banded Icicle Crash into Banded Ice Shard is actually something that I need to calc. Um, that could be huge. I had about... So it looks like... Looks like it's a roll, but it's definitely in his favor that Icicle Crash into Ice Shard from a banded Sneasel could have knocked me out. So he could have potentially, um, let's see here, what's the word? Removed Manaphy here and then removed Mega Diancy at the cost of losing. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like he's going to be losing um, Sneasel bit by bit because if he goes for ice shard then I can bring in let me just do some calcs real quick well I guess it just comes down to rolls at that point but um Yeah, but um, Sneasel could go for, if, if he's going for the banded Ice Shard, he doesn't knock out my Crobat set from uh, the range of HP I was at, so I could potentially n knock him out. What I'm getting to is if Sneasel isn't on the field and Zygarde is, then Zygarde gets a Dragon Dance on Blaziken and Landers because neither one of them can knock me out with one hit. And a dragon danced um, Zygarde actually
is actually a roll to knock out Sneasel from here with an extreme speed. So like I'm saying, it all comes down to rolls here. But most likely, what would have happened was um, my opponent did not know my Mega Diancy set, so he's thinking at this point that Sneasel is just going to clean up with Banded Icicle Crash. Because if I was like no HP Diancy, then it's got a you know it's a roll I believe in my opponent's favor that Icicle Crash would actually do up to uh, around like 65 to 78 percent or something like that, and then uh, Ice Shard's doing like 20 to 35 percent or something like that. Um, so, yeah, it would come down to 50-50s, mind games, and rolls here at this point. But uh, but he's actually going to miss, so it's going to take all that stuff out of the equation. As he's going to get hit with this surf, now he's 100% in range of an extreme speed. Even not boosted, but he's going to miss another icicle crash. So, man, if he's getting a free kill there. Um... Opponent comes in, revenge kills me with Landers, pretty obvious there. I mean, at this point, I think Landers is choice scarfed. And I think uh, Blaziken is, um, I wasn't sure what Blaziken was, though. He said he was uh, Agility Life Orb, which is really cool. I got a crit here, that didn't matter. A super effective stab from a base 100, almost 100 or something like that. He's going to go for the Earth Power, so I go for the Thousand Arrows. And, um... Extreme Speed is going to get a little bit more chip damage on him, put him in range of Crobat, because at this point in the battle, I'm assuming that if he, uh, I'm assuming that he is Choice Scarfed, and he does reveal to be Choice Scarfed, meaning my Crobat can't be hit by the Earth Power, and I'll be able to knock him out with the Brave Bird. What this means is that we pick up a 2-0 victory, and the reason I went into my Crobat first was because... Um, differential is important, so if I went to my Mega Diancy to confirm that he was Choice Scarfed, then I would have lost another Mon. So, um, best just to see if he's Choice Scarfed. If he is not, then Crobat knocks him out anyway. And if he is, then he's locked into Earth Power and Crobat knocks him out anyway. So, yeah, a little bit of uh, hacks at the end there with the Sneasel, but um, at that point in time, it would have come down to what he would have did. There have been a lot of 50-50s, mind games, and rolls involved. Um, I do think, and I am backed by um, Sticks, the, th the person who built the team. He uh, he also thinks that Crobat, Zygarde, Manaphy, and Mega Diancy, um, the combination of those four versus his last three, were going like his Landers, Blaziken, and Sneasel couldn't beat my Manaphy, Zygarde, Mega Diancy, and Crobat. So, yeah, that's going to be the game. We're going to come away with another uh, close victory and move on to 3-0 and going into week four where um, we do have Sticks did build our week 14 a long time ago. He said it was half tested, so I might have to test it some more or, um, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just go into it the way it is and just hope for the best. But regardless, that's going to be the battle. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And I thank you for watching.